Welcome back to Two Peas in the Kitchen. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to make a delicious apple pie and demystify all the worry that you have in making pie crust. I'm going to show you how easy it is and explain things along the way, so I hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a double pie crust and we're going to divide it in half. Half of it's going to be the bottom of, of the pie, then the, the other half is going to serve as, as the top and then we're going to we're going to make the filling and show you how to do that. So what you'll need is a food processor and we've measured out here two and a half cups of just all purpose flour. I'm just going to put this right into the food processor. Okay, now I'm going to add just a, a teaspoon of regular table salt, one tablespoon of sugar. We have two sticks of butter here. You want to use chilled butter. And the reason you want to use chilled butter is because this, this is an all butter crust that we're making. We're not adding any shortening. You can, um, but we like to use just regular butter. Um, it's much healthier than shortening and butter makes everything butter. So you want to use cold butter because that's how you really get the flakiness in, in your pie crust. Um, so once the butter melts, the chunks of butter melt in the oven, you're going to get that steam and you're going to get those delicious flaky layers. So we just cut them up into little cubes. You can see here, they don't have to be exact. And, you know, oh, take it out, take it out when you're, when you're ready to use the butter. Don't let the butter sit out. Okay, now our butter is in. And before we add the water, what I like to do is just pulse it, just so the butter is no longer sitting on top. Okay, so next we're gonna add half a cup of ice water. So I've just had this sitting here for a few minutes. I'm gonna take the ice out and pour off exactly what I need. Okay, so I've measured out my half a cup of ice water. And she goes like that. So we're gonna pour this in. And then what you wanna do is use the pulse feature on your food processor. And you wanna pulse it until it gets clumpy, but not to the point where it turns into a whole ball. Okay, so I've pulsed it several times. And let's take a look so you can see what it what it looks like. So you can see the consistency that we're kind of after. You don't want it to be one big ball and it's, it's clumped up and that's exactly what, what we want. And now it's time to, we're going to place this on our pastry board here, form it into a ball and cut it in half and I'll show you how I roll it out. Okay, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of flour. Um, if you have a marble countertop, that would be absolutely perfect because marble stays cold. I actually have a marble roller here um, so it'll prevent the butter from sticking. So I'm just going to dump this. Don't be scared. It's going to kind of fall into pieces. That's, that's actually what you want. And you kind of want to work quick. Um, you don't want to take your grand old time here because you don't want your butter to, to melt. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press, press this into a ball. About like that. And now I'm gonna separate it, divide it up into two, it doesn't have to be perfect, into two balls. And I'm going to roll this one out for the bottom of your pie. Okay, so we have our pie dish here. This is a 10 inch diameter and it's, it's pretty deep. So it's not one of the shallow pie dishes. Um, so this is what we prefer using, and you'll see there's going to be a lot of apples in this, so we need the deeper, the deeper dish. So what I'm going to do here, so here's my half. I like to make it into a circle first, and then start to roll it out. Okay, so I have here a really cool pastry board, and it actually has the circles, um, in, in, it indicates the diameter. So we have a 10 inch pie plate. I'm gonna roll this out into a 12 inch diameter crust because we want, we want it to overhang a little bit so that you can crimp the crust. Now, if you don't have something like this, that's perfectly fine. You can just measure it with the tape measure. So I'm just gonna continue rolling. Okay, so you might have to use a little bit of flour, release it from, from the cutting board just in case it starts to stick. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it's okay to pick it up and test it. Um, you know, depending on the depth of your pie plate, you may have to roll it out more or less. And that's okay. It's a little bit of trial and error. 
So now I'm going to pick up, pick this up, put it right into our pie dish, and I'm just going to center it and kind of press the sides here to make sure that it's nice and secure. And you can see there's a little bit of overhang, but that's fine because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it under. And this pie plate already has the scalloped edges, um, so you have a nice, beautiful crust. So I'm just going to tuck this in about right about where the edge is and then gen gently press it down and keep going all the way around. Okay, so all done. All done, and now I'm just going to use a piece of plastic wrap, cover it up, and put it in the refrigerator. Now we're going to roll out the other half for the top. Okay, so now I've, I've rolled out the top, and I'm going to place it on a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet, cover it with plastic, and this goes in the refrigerator as well. Okay, now it's time to core and peel our apples. So you can do it by hand, or if you're like us, you can actually get this pretty inexpensively. Uh, this is the triple action apple machine. I always like saying it. And it cores, peels, and slices. You're gonna need three pounds of apples. So we chose Granny Smith apples are great baking apples. And I'm going to put it right here one of the apples right on the three prongs. At this point, now this is in a spiral formation, so I'm just simply going to put it on a cutting board and, and cut it off. We're going to add after you have all your apples in a large bowl, make sure it's a large bowl because you, you want room to stir everything. We're gonna add three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice and you're gonna to toss it all together because that's gonna prevent it from browning. So now I'm going to add, I have half a cup of sugar plus two tablespoons of sugar. And then here we have two teaspoons of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of, of salt, and give it a good mix. Okay, so we've taken our pie crust out of the refrigerator, and here's our apple mixture. This is gonna go right in. Okay, let me even this out. This is, a I think, a perfect amount for, for this pie. So get it, get it nice and even. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to brush the perimeter of the pie crust. I think that's good. We're gonna brush the perimeter of the pie crust with, we have one large egg yolk, one tablespoon of heavy cream, and a pinch of salt, and I whisked all that together. Um, but before we do that, I almost forgot, I have two tablespoons of butter that we cut up into little tiny chunks and I'm just gonna put them, distribute them all over the top of the apples. I'm just gonna use this little silicone uh, brush. And we've also taken out the dough that we're gonna place on top. And we're gonna have to trim that, and I'll just show you how we do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just brush the pie crust here. And this, what this will do is it'll pretty much act like a glue for the top portion of the crust that we're going to add very shortly here. Okay, so we finished brushing. Now we're going to take this disc that we rolled out and it's a little bigger than we need, but we're gonna trim it. So I'm just gonna carefully put it right over the top there and I'm just going to um, trim it. I'm going to leave maybe half an inch or so. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to remove this excess. And if you're inspired, <laughs> you can even roll out these scraps and make a design on top of your, your pie as well. I've done that many times. I'm just going to keep it very simple this time. And we're going to just cut some slits on top of the pie so the steam actually will escape 
and needs somewhere to go as it's baking. Otherwise, it'll, it'll blow up like a balloon and you'll have an ugly pie. <laughs> we don't want that. Okay, so I trimmed off the excess. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it over just a little bit and then press it. So just fold it over to the perimeter, just, just enough so that it matches the edge of the pie crust. Okay, so I'm all done. I crimped and sealed the edges all the way around. And now I'm going to take the rest of this egg wash and I'm going to brush the entire surface of the top of the pie. Okay, so I've brushed everything. And the point of the egg wash is really to give the pie a nice, beautiful golden color. And here I have large sugar crystals. And I'm going to coat the entire top of the pie. And the egg wash will actually help to um, let the sugar stick to the top so it's not going to fall off. And the last thing we're going to do before, this is actually going to go in the freezer for 30 minutes. I'll explain that shortly before we bake it. We're going to cut venting holes for your pie. So I'm just going to do three of them. And I'm, we'll do one, two, and three. And so this will just simply allow all the steam to escape so that your pie doesn't blow up <laughs> while it's baking. Okay, so we've pl placed our pie on top of a parchment lined baking sheet and now it's in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And in the meantime, while your pie is chilling in the freezer, you'll want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. After 30 minutes in the freezer, go ahead and take your cookie sheet and all with your pie in the middle part of your oven and bake it at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the pie crust on top gets a little bit golden brown. Then you're going to reduce it for to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for probably 40 to 45 minutes or until the filling starts to get bubbly. And you'll notice that through the venting holes that you cut on top. You want to make sure that you know your pie is not going to burn. If you feel that the top of your crust is getting a little too golden brown and it's not bubbling through through the venting slits that you made, you can cover your the top of the pie loosely with a little bit of aluminum foil in order to prevent further browning of the pie. So look at this. Our amazing apple pie is now done. It's absolutely gorgeous as you can see. We baked this at 400 degrees for approximately 20 minutes, and then we reduced the temperature to 350 degrees, and it took an additional 40 minutes. You can see the crust is perfectly done, and the filling was bubbling a bit uh, out of those vents that we made to get the steam out, and it's just perfect. We really hope this video will give you confidence in making pie crust from scratch at home. There's nothing like a homemade pie crust. And as you can see from our video, it's actually very easy and it makes this beautiful pie. And we also hope it will give you confidence to try this super easy and very delicious homemade apple pie. If you try it, please drop a comment. Let us know what you thought or if you have any tips or tricks. When you make a pie, we'll let our community know about that. And in the meantime, we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.